Guys, I'm really, I'm disappointed in you. And the fact that you clicked on this thumbnail says more about you than it says about me. Guys, concentrate. No girl like this will ever repair anything. They just buy, consume, destroy and buy new again. But they will not repair. <laughs> but I did the most logical thing. This thing cost new 42 euros. So I bought a spot welder for 30 euros and battery cells for 10 euros. Also, it's a little upgrade because the cells I bought are 3.5 amp hours. Step one of 15 is to get the cover off, the plastic cover off the Accu pack. And therefore you bend away the sticker and behind there is a little notch. You can go in with one or two screwdrivers. There are three notches. You wiggle around and uh, after many tries, this stupid cover just got off. This is how it looks inside. You go in with the screwdriver, you go in here and push away this plastic part and then you can pull it off. Okay, the next step is to pull out the cells from the housing and therefore I use the screwdriver and hook Jeez. under. Right. This is dangerous. I threw it away. I hooked under the metal plate there and pulled this thing out. After that I marked the position of the cells and the position of the board. And then I drilled out the old welding spots with a 1.5 millimeter drill. I was very gentle with the drill, so no damage to the cells. Next step, positioning the new cells like uh, they were before and fixing it with a little bit of tape. Okay, time to test the spot welder for 30 euro from Amazon. It has a million settings and it came with 0.2 millimeter nickel band, but I tried to use the original Bosch uh, connector. This, the orange original one is one point, uh, no, it's 0.5 millimeter, so it's much too thick. So the welding spots are not ideal. I think the max maximum of this spot welder was 0.3 or something. But anyhow, not to bore you, this thing worked somehow. I could uh, manage to to get the cells fixed to the connector. Step 25, little voltage test. Successful, so the cells are in the correct position. Looks quite ugly, but it's working. After that, step 29, putting the cover back on and there was a little protection soft cover on the end. So I put this on. Step 52, little test and not working what the hell step 55 checking the voltage again and we have voltage so i decided maybe i have to charge it first uh, maybe there is some protection inside the board or something with with a low voltage or something so i decided to charge it first but this was not the reason even after charging with 12 and a half volts uh, there was voltage, but uh, it w still wasn't working. So I saw another video and one guy mentioned these three little pins there are responsible for temperature or something like that. One pin was a little bit bent inside because I threw around the whole package while pulling it out. So one pin was bent. I bent it back a little bit out outside and after that it was working so this was a full success i saved two euros and uh, like a new battery pack i guess